Oh yeah, loosen up, loosen up. Hey everybody, welcome back to another sip along. Today I am going to be brewing an aged premium Chen Jian from 2013. So get your kettles heated up and let's get started. Before we dive right in, let's take a look at the dry leaf. Check out that aroma. Pretty reserved overall. I'm getting hints of woodiness, maybe a touch of sweet and dark chocolate, but it's not a real booming aroma on the dry leaf here. How about we warm up our gaiwan and try again in there? All right, let's get the tea in this humid gaiwan and see how the aroma transforms. Hmm, still pretty reserved, Not, nothing really booming out. Sometimes this will really cause the aroma to boom out because the warm humid gaiwan just provokes the leaf that much. But I'm not overly surprised with this tea because it is an aged tea. And what one of the effects of age on tea is to push all that goodness into the leaf. So this tea is very, very reserved with its aroma. It still does have that hint of woodiness. The dark chocolate is coming out a little bit more but I am excited to get it brewed and to see how this goes once we start infusing it. Give the baby a little bit of water. He's thirsty. So the reason this tea is called a premium aged Qian Jian is because the, uh, the material comes from what used to be an imperial garden. It comes from basically impeccable terroir and the processing is very well done. Mm. Look at that golden amber liquor. Gorgeous. Look at that. The liquor aroma has again that hints of tartness, uh, maybe like a cocoa, uh, slight woodiness. Again, not booming, but it's subtle. Wow. Okay, the aromas have been subtle all the way through, but once that flavor hits, wow. There is not too much subtle about this tea. This is a really full flavor. Uh, big and thick, the thickness is profound, hits you right away. Um, and elements of, mm, those hints of dark chocolate, there's a sweet berry kind of a sweet berry tartness almost coming out, really popping out. Um, this is a really bold, full flavored tea. Mm. Mm. The thickness is stunning. This dark tea is from Hunan province. You can get all the information you could possibly want about this tea at our website, origin, detailed brewing instructions, uh, my complete tasting notes, and there's space also for you to leave a, to leave a, there's space also for you to leave a review if you happen to be brewing along or if you've had this tea before. We'd love to hear from you what you think about the tea. The more tasting notes we have around the tea, the easier it is for everyone to understand it. Okay, second infusion, even more full. Uh, the dark chocolate is popping out. That thickness is even more right up front. As soon as the liquor's in your mouth, you feel that. And that is the, uh, 
that, that material is bringing that, that impeccable garden. Mm. The dark chocolate hints are, are still floating around. This is becoming increasingly complex. They're kind of all blending together. Mm. Definitely my favorite Tianjian ever. Right, this tea is really opening up now. Wow, it's getting increasingly difficult to describe as the, as the flavors just really start to intermingle and be, the whole tea broth becomes more complex. still has hints of sweetness. The sweetness is kind of uh, coming into, it's going into the background a little bit more. Um, there's some woodiness popping out that was a little more evident than earlier. I'm getting something a little different too though. Let me just take some time. Let me take my time and just really try and get to the bottom of this. There's some elements of kind of a dry hay and maybe hints of mushroom. And in the end, at the end of the day, this is, this is an incredible mouthfeel. Just that thick, brothy, soupy liquor is just amazing. Really, really full, really satisfying. I just want to point out at this point, the, that mushroominess is definitely starting to really come to the front more. The notes that I was getting earlier on are, are blending in and uh, so this tea has transformed in a really incredible way. Mouthfeel all the way through, thick and full, really a wonderful sip. All right, that wraps up this session. I'm going to keep infusing this. This tea has great stamina, great legs. I can definitely get some more infusions out of it. Um, but again, highlights from the tasting notes are number one, an incredibly thick mouthfeel brought on by that great material 
and they are and the age of the tea as well as the age of the bushes just a really great sip in terms of mouthfeel stack on top of that mouthfeel an incredibly bold flavor profile that lasts through the whole tea and has a wonderful transformation from a tarty sweet dark chocolatey berry note moving more to a mushroomy kind of profile just a great transformation that happens gradually enjoy this tea please check out the website if you tried it leave us a review and until next time keep steeping